right now, a lot of DIY people are putting their hands and minds to work coming up with new ideas to help address the current global crisis. Some ideas are more practical than others, but that's totally okay, because that's how innovation works. Sometimes you have half an idea, play around with it, put it in a box, and come back to it in a few months. I've been trying my hardest to do my part and mail key supplies out from Shenzhen. Templates and nose bridges for cloth masks, elastic for face shields, and filament from local suppliers for people 3D printing protective equipment. But let's be realistic, I'm not going to be solving any big problems. At the end of the day, I'm more an entertainer and STEM advocate than I am an engineer. But I can have a bit of fun with different ideas and maybe help some of you take your mind off these problems for a while. It's a pretty stressful time and fear is the mind killer. We have to stay level-headed, calm and rational. So I have a few things I want to build. Maybe there's something to them, maybe I'm just keeping my hands and mind busy, but the important thing for me right now is to keep your spirits up and maybe give you some inspiration for ways tech can help us through this. As I have discussed earlier, the really cool thing about Shenzhen is how easy it is to get products made. You've seen me do DIY from scratch many times, but in the real world, that's not usually how it works. So in these videos, I come up with a product idea, give it to my friends at JLCPCB, and they deliver a sample. Usually simple engineering like this can be done online for only a few hundred dollars. What I want is a device to open doors and push elevator buttons because those are services that carry a lot of things we don't want on our hands. I have an idea to make it self-cleaning with UV light. Now, a huge caveat about sterilizing things with UV. The wavelengths that are normally used to kill microorganisms also kill your eye and skin cells. Far UVC is safer, but so far there are no cheap consumer sources for it. There is also a shortage of the more powerful UVC LEDs at the moment, so they cost a fortune. This is just going to be a proof of concept, so I'm going to spec some smaller, weaker UV LEDs as kind of a placeholder. It doesn't make sense to pay a crazy markup and hundreds of dollars just for some preliminary tests. So here's what the engineer supplied to fit my specifications. JLC PCB has made and populated the PC board and part of the service is super fast and cheap and saves me the hassle of SMD soldering. My idea is to laser cut an enclosure for the board and battery out of clear acrylic, but first I have to design it. Yes, I use Tinkercad even for this. Don't make fun of me, it does the job. Okay, I just want to show you something really quick. This is the exhaust arm I use for soldering or when I work with some really nasty smell group and you see it's connected to PVC pipe, it uh, exhausts out all the smells and stuff. But on this side, I also have the T connector that connected to the laser cutter pipe. It, when I turn this and that, and then turn the fan on, all those laser cutter smell goes out of the pipes and there is no stinky smell, no smoke. They all come out from underneath there. So it's pretty good setup for me. Now I'm going to laser cut the parts I need.
So this is my uh, laser box. It's from the May blog. I've been using it tons and it's so easy to use. If you're interested, I'm going to put the link in the description box. Okay, so I did the first three too close to the edge. I have to redo them, so I'm going to move those. Okay, let's redo it. This is the solenoid setup. I have to uh, bus people in and it is connected with wire and it can pull the latches whenever people ring the bell. But let's just say if I am in somewhere very dirty, covered with germs, I'm just going to use my hook to open it. And the UV light is on because it detects the vibration. It's supposed to stay on for four minutes and theoretically it's supposed to clean itself. And the UV light stay on to clean itself. I think induction charging would be a bit better than the magnet, but the magnet was easy for a prototype. Once the UV LEDs drop in price, really we'd have to test with bacterial swabs to see just how well it works. Still, as a base concept, UV light still in clear plastic and dropped in your bag or pockets or even your drink to cut down on viral load, Maybe there's something there? Let me know what you think in the comments. Big thanks to my sponsor, JLCPCB, for working with me on this. And remember, if I can do it, anyone can do it.